Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are in Arm Wrestling Simulator's, I think, final Halloween update. So this is part three to the update. Um, so let's take a look at this, and then we'll look at the uh, part three through the Discord, since it usually gives a little bit more information. Um, so you got Halloween part three, Haunted Manor, Treat, Better Candy Farm, um, Haunted Tower, so I think the uh, Haunted Manor might be better for candy. Uh, Haunted Tower OP rewards, 25 floors, tons of candy, new music, two new eggs, um, code Haunted Manor. So that really didn't give a lot. So we're definitely going to look at this real quick. Um, so you guys won't be able to see this. If I remember to do it, I might show a screenshot of this um, for you guys. But Halloween Part 3 Horseman's Manor. <laughs> What's new? The mansion has opened. Beat the vampire protecting it front, out front to enter. Two new eggs are here. Halloween upgrades found in part three. New OP rare horseman's arm, which is starting percent is 5,500, which is actually pretty good. Five new bosses have appeared. New UI, new in-game sound effects for boss fighting, new music and main game. You can also turn off music if you end up not liking it. Then there's a lot of bug fixes. Um, Horseman's Tower. Attempt to climb the levels of Horseman's Tower. Max 25 for the price of one haunted key. Every boss in part 3 can drop a haunted key. Um, obtain insane rewards from the tower. And there's a pet that just says Giga Goal. And I'm assuming since it's Giga, it's probably super good. Um, UI changes, sound fixes, and minor bug fixes, and then you can also use the Haunted Banner for stuff. So, yeah. So, they had a countdown earlier, so this is where you have to go. You have to beat the vampire guy with 25k strength, which really isn't that hard. That's actually easier than, I'm pretty sure, the uh, best boss in the first part of the update after they did it. So, we're able to go in here now and see what's happening. So you've got, all right, so loot drops. Here's the giga goal. It's, all right, so it's starting is best friend nine is like confirmed. This is what a haunted key looks like, a Halloween fedora. This, a haunted metal, so that, so let's actually real quick before we continue on, let's look at the uh, um, items and go to the metals. And usually it'll tell you what it, gives Halloween metal it looks like okay I don't know what that is it looks like it's 1.4 clicks so maybe it's something to do with this so you want to look for the headless horseman to fight here's Halloween upgrades oh you can just it's actually pretty cheap if it's only a thousand each so let's just buy all of them to get it for an hour so, I'm assuming they all have different candy they can give. Yeah, 149 starting. And then, you need one, oh, 894. You need 1.9 million. And I'm pretty sure the final boss in the part two outside is 1 billion. And this gives you more already. Now, you have to keep in mind, I do have a full team of best friend eight. Or, no, not best friend eight. I have a full team of candy T3. And then I spent a few Robux, so I have, I think, one or two Candy Thief 4 and 5s, but other than that, and then here's the new pet, so y if you have luck teams on, you can get m a Mummy for 5x, and then there's a Reaper, that's, so all bosses have a chance of, to drop, a drop chance of Haunted Tower Keys beating floors in the Horseman's Tower. Um, alright, here's where training is. That's third. Wait, okay, I'm getting 30k. I do have a 200% boost on, but that's without my good team. So let's see what I get for my event shrink. 400k. That's actually really good. I don't have any other boosts on for strength besides the 3x weekend. And I didn't even put on the other 3x. So this is actually really good. So this is like definitely the new best area because the boss, the starting boss for the best boss gives more candy and is way weaker than the other bosses and the strength in here is way easier. Like I have a full team of the like almost best pets from the other one 
that are easy to get and I'm getting 400k which is obviously and if you have an arm that's gonna really help you so let's go back to candy thief um let's go back to the candy thief team so how do I get in here is this I think you need to have a specific amount of strength but I feel like I would have already had enough by now just because it seems like this isn't the hardest update so let's, let's just there's really nothing else going here so I guess let's maybe I thought you would continue when you I thought you would keep going up towers whenever you were able to beat the best boss and they got stronger so let's just try and get it let's just try and get a key all right that's not the right halloween key but we have to i think maybe we need to continue with the key i'm not sure all right i'm let's just auto fight this guy But this is definitely, I think, more for free-to-play. Or not free-to-play, but more for the beginners. So if you're just coming to the game now, it'll be a lot easier to get candy and everything. And I didn't look at the market, but I'm assuming both markets um, still are selling the skeleton um, duck. So that's going to be an easy best for an 8 pet to get. But it'll be kind of not rare, but it'll be just it's limited time. Uh, we still not we have still yet to get a key. And I think actually after I get the key, that's it. Um because I just re-looked at the uh, weekly or I just looked at the update and it says new weekly code and then it shows and then it's what is one on what on earth is boarded on the right. So I think that's not till next week. So it looks like we're having maybe one more week of update. Or maybe sometimes Arm Wrestle Simulator will have an update on Wednesdays or even Sundays if they weren't done with it for the first part. Um so yeah. I think this is really good though, because there's really no point in not going against this boss. It gives the most candy. It, it's the only few bosses that have a chance at giving you um the keys and then you have a chance at getting a best for nine or above and then it's the best strength and it's like the weakest boss too so it's like all right so let's just stop here um yeah we did not get a single one i'm not actually sure how um i'm not actually sure how hard these are to get but um, it actually seems kind of cool. I don't really care about some of this. Like, I mainly want it for the Giga Gold, the Horseman, and the Haunted Metal. And then, depending on how much candy, maybe candy. But even then, it's so easy for me to get candy now. But let's actually spend the rest of it to open. I don't think we'll really need to worry about... Um, I don't really think, to be honest, we're going to need to worry about pets anymore. Um, because of the next update is just adding that. But I'm also still a little confused on how you find him in the tower to fight. Because it, unless there's like some parkour type stuff you could do. Then. I don't know. It just doesn't really seem. So I was like, I mean, I can get up here. Is there anything up here though to do? Doesn't even look like there's anything up here. Find me in the tower, let's fight. They were saying something about tower one through, um. Oh, you can, oh, you have to say fight now. This isn't from, oh. I thought you were able to get keys from here. So we actually still have to go in. So we didn't even do the main part of the update. That's my bad guys. All right, so let's actually go in here and say fight now. Oh, you still, oh, you need a key to fight, though. Remember, the more keys you get, the more it'll multiply. Each one gives you a reward, but reaching the end gives you a special reward. So, actually, let's open, like I said earlier, let's open up. 
Actually, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna fight this boss like, and then I'll be back whenever I get a key. And then if you don't have to spend any candy on this, then I'll buy the pets after just in case. All right. So I saw that I just got the uh, candy. All right, I just got the haunted tower key. So let's go. Actually, before we go, let's make sure everything is back up to max. And then we're gonna, I don't know if, what's gonna be expected. So now we can use one key to fight. And I think loot drops, we can get more haunted keys. Um, so hopefully once you get one, it's easier to get more. So let's just go in and say fight now. Oh, okay. So I have to click myself though. So that's one thing to think about. Alright, and I just actually got 18,000 candy from that, so that's actually really good. So, let's just keep fighting. My strength does keep on with the arm and everything, so I have 52 million. Um, except for the thing is going up kind of quick, so we'll see if I uh, actually have enough to beat the Headless Horseman. Alright, let's just turn on an auto clicker. I'm not trying to click the whole time. So we're up to 97 million. It doesn't show on this side what, um, which floor you're on, I think. I think it goes up every little, like, line that's on the, like, almost ruler-looking type thing. So. Alright, 2.2 billion. If it only goes up by, like, 3, we should be fine, so. Or if it only goes up by, like, 1 billion each. I think in events like this with the tower, oh, it says at the top too, actually. Like, even if it's a little bit stronger than you, they, you can still, um, you can still, like, beat them most of the time, so, yeah, okay, maybe not. Now we're getting pretty close, and, okay, come on. I, we might be able to get to the Headless Horseman, but I don't think we're gonna be able to beat them. Oh, okay, now we're barely gonna be able to beat them. So we're actually going to have to grind some strength to uh, get to the final level tower. Because we're only 23 out of 25. And this is probably going to be the last boss we can fight. So that's actually kind of upsetting. So we're definitely going to be spent. So we definitely actually do need new pets. I did not think we were going to be. There's going to be that much of a struggle. So we're definitely going to need the new pets afterwards. Yeah, and we're not going to be able to beat that. So let's just turn off the auto clicker. Oh. Wait, you can click the auto fight, and then it's doing the tapping for 12 instead of... Okay, so we can still beat this guy just because of the auto clicker, so we can see what strength we need for the Headless Horseman. We need 100 billion, and we can actually beat him. <laughs> okay, so I guess if you really are close enough, just use your auto fight. I didn't think that's what that was for. I didn't know it was the auto clicker, because usually the auto clicker is here. So, we did beat him. Found items, 100,000, and then a 15 dragon fruits. Um, we did not actually get any keys or anything. Or obviously, we did not get this. There's already 22 existing. That doesn't seem like a lot, but for the first day, it's actually decent. So we're definitely going to be fighting those bosses some more. I might actually um, grind a little more strength because... Um, I need to get some more strength, especially for next update. If they expected you to have that much strength for the tower, to get to this next area, next update, um, like, I can't tell if this is a guy you can fight or this is, like, another merchant, but there's something in there, and it's obviously, that's the develop, one of the developers, so I'm probably gonna need more strength. So anyways, let's just put on our luck team, open up some pets, see how strong they are, and then we'll probably end the video off there. So let's just spend all of our candy because we're going to be able to get a lot of it back anyways. Alright. So obviously, yeah, we're going to get all mummies, maybe one of the um, other pets. But we're going to get all mummies because they're only 5% chance. And with all the luck I have on. So let's just spend them all. Man, I really need to spend a little bit more Robux. Oh, I need more pet storage. Okay. Um, I really need to clean out. I have Ever since I got all the skeleton ducks, I have not had a lot of storage. Alright, so let's just make sure that these are the only things in here. So let's 
craft all and then craft all again and let's actually take a look so these are so these are 9x to start with so whenever you craft them into bigs like this that's actually i think that's a I, i'm not i can't really do much of the math so i'm not really sure how it works whenever you combine them all but um so yeah let's just use our last few to auto open And we should be able to get enough mummies to have like half mummy team, half of the uh, other good pet team. So we should be fine strength wise. Um, we'll definitely have to grind one more night to try and get a full mummy team before um, next update. Um, so yeah, we need more pet storage again. So let's go back. And we get a few more. And we can also turn these gold. And I have the game pass that automatic. Where you have to pretty much only wait like 3 seconds. So let's open some more of these. And I think this might be our last round of opening. So. Even if we run out of pet stores. Before we completely run out of candy. We're just going to stop. And then I might also make another video. Um, if I if I'm AFK overnight and I get a decent amount of keys, I might use that. But you can also use all keys, and the keys will multiply what reward you get. And I don't know if that means it will multiply the strength you're going against, but if it doesn't, it pretty much just means you have a better chance of getting this. So if you can combine all the keys, then that will definitely be something. But it says any um. It says reaching the end gives a special reward. I'm pretty sure it just gave me another dragon fruit. So I'm assuming maybe the end has a better chance of giving you this. But it's not confirmed to give you a super good one. So let's go back to the mummies and craft the rest of them. And then we'll go craft all with... We'll go craft all of them to... Um, that aren't gold. Or we'll make them all the non-gold ones gold. So we can also turn them into void. And then we'll add them to my strength team and we'll see how much we can get so we like to do let's do 80 percent which i probably shouldn't be doing because i feel like i'm gonna lose more pets than i gain because of my luck it seems like even with 80 percent i lose 50 percent of the time like okay we should not be it's 80 percent let's just do 100 percent oh okay i was just meaning to do 100 and i think that has means Oh, how many of them do we still have? Oh, lost again. Let's just do two 80% and hope that... Okay, this thing is actually kind of annoying if you ask. Like, why is it... I feel like it's a 50-50 chance whenever I'm doing 80% chance. Because I lose more than I feel like I should be for being an 80%. So anyways, let's just go here. We got a few of these to craft the void. And we only have to, like I said, we have the game pass that only makes us wait like three seconds to claim. Like, as I'm making others, I'm able to claim the ones I just clicked instead of making me wait five hours. And then now, the new easier thing to do is we're just going to go to the Halloween event. And whenever you unclaim pets and you say claim, like, equip best, it'll equip your best strength event team pets. So I can just do that now. So let's just equip best on this. So obviously it's still the Giga Haunted because it's a Void Ghost Giga Slime. So it's the strongest it can be. And then we have... Alright, we still have a few. The, the Franken Octopuses as a Goliath I think are better than the Ghost. Um, so we still need to get a few more. Because these aren't... These should not be my team. It should either be all Void something or m Mummies. So... Whatever is not in our team, though, we're going to be... So let's lock these real quick. And then we're going to unlock the other Frankensteins. And we're just going to probably delete them so we can get some more inventory space. Since usually we're not this high on inventory space. But Alright, so let's make sure we, make, we replace it with our current. And let's go over here. And let's see how much strength we're able to get. Now, we have to keep in mind, we still have a 200%. So, this is not like the actual. We're getting 823,000. So, I'm pretty sure we doubled it almost. 
Um, but since it's so easy to get candy, especially in there, in the tower, um, and I can go over with this boss overnight, and I'll, I'll get two times the amount I've been getting overnight, which is around, like, four million, so... I'll definitely be able to open some of these eggs, and I'm probably just going to get a full team of the mummies, and then also try and maybe get one reaper. To be honest, it's not that rare of a pet. So, that, that was pretty much about it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and like I said, uh, also if you guys want to comment your username down below, I got a few tokens, and I'll gift you guys some pets. So, I might save a couple Frankenstein pets and give them to you guys just... If you guys want, just comment your username down below, and I'll gift them to you in the mailbox, which is in the garden, if you don't know where that is. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys in the next one.